Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to the screencast. Uh, in this screencast, we're going to go over uh, building artwork using simple shapes. Uh, then we're going to go over alignment and how to uh, position your shapes uh, in, in certain distributions and alignments. Uh, and then we're going to talk about building shapes, uh, unique shapes, using first the shape builder tool and then a few of the pathfinder tools. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create a new file. Now, nine times out of 10, um, when you're making a file for this class, you're going to need these exact uh, dimensions right here. Uh, so we're going to select inches. We can kind of ignore all this unless you have a recent items or default up here. Um, but let's focus over here right now. So uh, first off, we always want to title this something, so we're not going to leave it untitled. Let's go simple shapes. Okay. Uh, and then these are the dimensions. Most commonly, we're sending stuff to the laser cutter. This is the size of the laser cutter bed. Uh, so 24 inches wide by 12 inches in height. Uh, let's just go ahead and make that our, our, our default, unless we're doing something totally different. Uh, this is going to be kind of our default um, uh, layout. And as always, uh, we want RGB, so that way our laser cutter, uh, should we be sending this to the laser cutter, can read it. So it's got to be RGB, 24 by 12. Okay, so without giving you a full tutorial, you know that there's you know some transparency grid stuff, our rulers, and grid patterns and all that stuff over here. Uh, we've also got some snap options and guides and things like that. But uh, that is uh, for, uh, you know, click around and see how these uh, various options help you. Uh, we're gonna start with this, okay? We're gonna start by uh, drawing just some, some simple tools. Okay, so the first one is your rectangle tool. Obviously, that's gonna create something that looks like this. Uh, you can also just click and that'll give you um, this dialog box so you can actually set dimensions. So let's say that we want a four inch by four inch box and there it is, okay? Now when you right click, so you can make your various rectangles this way. Uh, when you right click, here are your other options, okay? You can make an ellipse tool, okay? So that's gonna make an oval. If you hold down shift and drag, That'll make your circle. And then of course, you can also click and get your dialog box just like so. Okay, we can get rid of those for now. If we keep going, there's your polygon tool and uh, probably one that you don't think you would need very often, but it's actually the star tool. Uh, obviously, if you select the star tool and drag out, it's gonna make a star. Uh, maybe something that you don't need on a daily basis, but uh, if you click, it's going to give you um, this, this option right here of points. So I can actually drop this down to three, and voila, we made a triangle that way. Okay, now there's a bunch of different ways to accomplish all of these things. Um, you know, that's not really the point of this uh, screencast. Uh, there's a lot of other things that you can do to manipulate your shapes here. Uh, for instance, if I were to come in to these circles, we can round our circle all the way over, our, our rectangle, so we can uh, add a radius to those, uh, things of that nature. Now let's keep that gone. Okay, uh, this is specifically what we're going to focus on is uh, building shapes combining shapes, aligning shapes, things like that. So let's uh, let's do this. We're going to start, um, let's start by building a snowman, okay? So, uh, you know, this may or may not be the right season for you to be building a snowman, but that's what we're gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna start here. And also, uh, full disclosure, the snowman may or may not turn out looking uh, perfect. Uh, the the, the principle is in how to use these tools, not necessarily how well I pull it off in a screencast. So anyway, let's start with our ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down shift and create a circle. So there's uh, there's our base. 
Okay. Let's create a smaller circle and then yet one more. Okay, that looks about right. Now, as things stand right now, we've got a snowman, but he's looking like he's ready to uh, tip over. Um, so let's, uh, let's fix that. Let's stand this snowman upright, okay? I'm going to click and drag and select all three of these objects. Now, when that happens, uh, you have a few options that pop up over here. The first one I want to point out it are your alignments, okay? Okay, now there are a few different ways to go about this. The most obvious is you just click Align to Center and pull out. They're all now centered, okay? Now, you could do a few other things. Um, you know, eventually this could uh, become an issue with uh, whatever you're creating. You want uh, things to be centered within an object. Uh, let's let's say like let's say uh, before I give you um, you know too much information all at once. Let's say that we have like a, a frame. Okay, so let's go back here and make our rectangle. Okay, let's remove our fill so we can see our item. Okay, and uh, let's do one last thing. Let's right click and. There we are, arrange, and we're gonna send it back. Okay, now I can select my three items here, and let's say that they're all just totally scattered all over the place, okay? So let's say that I not only do I want all of these items to be centered, but I also want them to be in the center of this object as well. So what I can do is I can select all four of these items and, uh, and actually my grid, my, my frame on the outside as well. And right here on this option, uh, it says align to uh, key object. And that's what I actually wa want is the key object. So take a look here, you see how this is highlighted in kind of a darker blue. So I'm going to select key object and I'm going to click over and make that my key object. So now when I click center, it's going to all center align there. And of course I can bring this guy down. So it's within that. Okay. So there's our alignment. Let's, uh, let's actually build this snowman. So right now you can see that I've got three different items here and they're all their own object. Okay. So uh, let's turn this into a bit of a snowman and uh, uh, full disclosure, we're probably not going to build the whole snowman. We're, we're going to add some buttons and that might be about it. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call it good once we get the key learnings down. So I'm going to select all three of these items. I'm going to come right over here. This is a super powerful tool. Uh, it's used a, a, a ton. I use this way more than I ever thought I would. So this is the shape builder tool. It kind of looks like a cloud. So once I select all of those and I hover, you can see that it selects each one of these overlapping items individually. So if I click and drag all the way through, you can see how they're all becoming highlighted in red. I connect all those and voila, it merges that one, those three individual objects into one object. Okay. Uh, now I could come through and if we were to spend just a few more and just another minute or two on alignment and things of that nature, let me zoom in here. Okay. Let's say that I wanted to add uh, some buttons. One, two, three. I don't know, four buttons. Uh, let's do this. Let me show you a cool trick. So instead of making uh, three or four different objects and trying to size them correctly, I created one here. Uh, I'm going to hold down uh, Option. Uh, and that's on a Mac. I assume it's um, the same on your uh, PC. But I'm going to hold down Option, and then I'm going to click and drag and it duplicates that same item. Now you can also see 
my uh, guidelines are popping up and it's telling me when it's aligned in the center. Okay, and voila. Now in the event that they're not all literally aligned in the center, I'm gonna select these items one more time. I'm going to align, let's do this, let's align to our key object. Align to key object. Let's make this our key object and I'm gonna center it. Okay, that all looks good. Let's do one more thing with this. We're gonna use our align tool. These little three dots are in the bottom right hand corner. I'm gonna select that. And now we have not only um, alignment options, but also distribution. So I want an equal distribution uh, between all of these uh, buttons. And voila, once I click that, now they're all centered and equally distributed between each of those. Okay. If I wanted to, I could go add, you know, some I edit that out. Okay, so there's a, a half belt snowman, but now that you see how that works with the um, shape builder tool and the alignment tool, I think we're gonna call that a snowman half, or half belt snowman good. Uh, feel free if you uh, feel it an injustice to uh, leave a half built snowman, feel free to add the rest uh, and and turn turn in a completed snowman as well. Uh, there's only one other thing that I want to go over with you. And uh, for that, we're going to add uh, two circles, okay, of any size. Okay, and um, for this demonstration, I'm going to... Uh, switch up our, our, our fill colors a little bit just so you can have an idea of um, what's going on here, okay? Okay, so now you can see that these two objects are now overlapping, one on top of the other. If I were to right-click, come down to Arrange and bring to front, you can see now the other one is there. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to play around with the Pathfinder tool, okay? So... Here's what we do, let's overlap those, select both of those, and you can see once you select both of those, uh, these uh, this Pathfinder option opens up down here. Okay, now the first one we can do is unite that, and that's gonna look and function a whole lot like the Shape Builder tool. If I were to use the Shape Builder tool, you can see that um, it is virtually the same thing, okay? Uh, but it's just another way to do the same thing, okay? Now, the next thing you uh, could potentially do with these uh, Pathfinder tools is to minus front. So that's going to anything that's in the front. You can see that this object is in the front. So when you select that and select minus front, it's not only going to delete that object, but everything that that object is touching. So you can see we're going to take a bite out of the blue circle here. And there it goes, okay? Uh, we can intersect, and that's gonna keep everything that is overlapping. So there's our center section, and you can see that, there it is, that's all that's left. Okay, so now you can you can click around and test and see what all these other Pathfinder options do. Uh, the other, only other one that I use uh, semi-frequently would be the uh, divide tool. And what divide is gonna do is uh, not much once you look at it from, from the beginning, but if you select not only divide, but then select all those items and ungroup, uh, what it does is basically anywhere there's a path uh, overlapping, it's created three different or as many different objects out of those overlapping paths. So there's a, a couple times in which uh, I find it um, beneficial to be able to do that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so that, that's the end of our screencast. Why don't you go ahead and um, screenshot or download as an image all of this, this artboard and whatever your final object looks like here uh, once you've trimmed and minus front and, and all of those things and your half-built snowman. And uh, we're going to call this good for this screencast. Thank you for watching.